वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश ट्वेंटी सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम इज स्लिट लॉन्गिट्यूडनली इलांग बोथ साइड एज शोन इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन इंटरनल शेयर ऑफ टू फिफ्टी किलो न्यूट्रन कंपेयर द मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस डिवेलप इन द बीम बिफोर एंड आफ्टर द कर्ट्स वर मेड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई अ शेयर वी क्लियर एंड we have to find the maximum shear stress before this longitudinal slit this is actually cut it this is the cut so we will assume this as a single piece and we will find the maximum shearing stress before the cut clear and then there is a cut and based on that cut we will find the maximum shear stress for that uh, cross section of the beam so let's start with the solution so as we know that maximum shearing stress is equal to v into q max divided by i into t so we will first find uh, i which is the section property for this beam and then we will move forward so i have shown you Uh, the cross section of this beam and we have converted all the value into meter because this is uh, 200 mm this thickness is 25 mm from this till mid this is 100 mm and this width is also 20, 200 mm so i have shown all this value in term of meter so that i may uh, take less time so for section properties i will write section properties which is represented as i so i will be a, what we will do is that we will take the moment of inertia of this whole cross section about this neutral axis which will be at the mid and this distance is 0.1 meter clear and then we will subtract these portions from the moment of inertia of this first one so let's do it i is equal to 1 over 12 breadth is 0.2 so 0.2 and its total height is also 0.2 so 0.2 into 0.2 whole cube minus 1 over 12 if you subtract 0.2 0. Uh, sorry 25 25 25 75 200 minus 75 is 125 so we will remain with 125 mm so this will be breadth so it will be 0.125 uh, meter breadth so base will be 0.125 and what will be the height so you can see from here that this total is 200 and if we subtract 25 and 25 so it will be 150 height so 150 mm is equal to 0.150 meter clear so height will be 0.150 whole cube okay so when you solve this you will get the moment of inertia which comes out to be 98.1771 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 now you have this moment of inertia so we will move toward this q and we know that q is q max is equal to here what will be the q max so q max will be for this portion we will take since this is a neutral axis so this portion will be the shaded portion will be uh, we will take the q max first moment of inertia of this shaded portion about this neutral axis so what we will do is that i will assume that this is made up of 1 2 3 so this is 1 1 One and this is two, so Q max is equal to uh, generally it is represented as y dash into a. So here we have three times 
three elements that is one 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 so i will write three into y one dash bar into a one plus y two dash bar into a two so what is a one so a one is this area so its height is 0 0.075 and breadth is 0 0.025 so i will write a1 is 0 0.025 multiply by height is 0 0.075 and we have a y1 dash so y1 dash i will show you y1 dash is distance from neutral axis till mid of this first section so this is y1 dash and that is equal to 0 0.075 divided by 2 0 0.075 divided by 2 so y1 dash comes out to be 0 0.0375 meter so i will write 0 0.0375 and we will multiply by 3 because there are 3 elements of 1 plus a2 now what is a2 so a2 is this area which is 0 0.2 into 0 0.025 so 0 0.2 into 0 0.025 and what is y2 dash so y2 dash will be this distance distance from neutral axis till mid this distance will be y2 dash and that will be equal to 0 0.075 plus 0 0.025 divided by 2 and that will comes out to be 0 0.0875 meter so 0 0.0875 okay so when you solve this you will get q max comes out to be 0 0.6484 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter now you have i you have q max so what you will do is that uh, you will go to the maximum sharing stress maximum sharing stress which is represented as v into q max divided by i into t so maximum sharing stress occur at a point on neutral axis so maximum sharing stress will occur at neutral axis because uh, you can see that uh, t is minimum before the uh, t is minimum here clear before the neutral axis and uh, what we will do is that we will find the maximum sharing stress before the slit so before slit before slit if you see here that this is before slit if you assume that this slit is not available over here so you can see the thickness is this one this one and this one which is 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75 and 75 millimeter t is equal to 75 millimeter and that is equal to 0 0.075 meter so what we will do is that we will put it in this formula so tau max is equal to v max v is given as 250 kilo newton so 250 into 10 to the power 3 q max is given over here 0 0.6484 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i is 98.1771 into 10 to the power minus 6 and thickness is 0 0.075 meter so when you solve this you will get maximum sharing stress comes out to be 22 mega pascal that is before cut before cut 
clear so this is the answer of our first part now in second part which is given after cut or after slit so after slit what will be the thickness so you can see here that if uh, you consider this slit so only thickness will be this one clear this thickness which is equal to 25 millimeter and that is equal to 0 0.025 meter so just put the value in this formula v into q divided by i into t v is 250 kilo q is 0 0.6484 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i which is 98.1771 into 10 to the power minus 6 and thickness is 0 0.025 so again when you calculate this you will get maximum sharing stress after the slits comes out to be 66 mega pascal so this is after cut slash slit and this is the answer of our second part and that was all about problem 7-27. I hope you have enjoyed this video in which we have calculated the maximum sharing stress before slit and maximum sharing stress after the slit. And you have learned it as well. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.